All right, this is a circuit that I made using a, a few IC chips. Um, one of the pulsar, and then one is a binary counter. You can see right now that the LEDs are uh, counting in succession. They're counting. Uh, you can see now that the LEDs are uh, counting in a binary linear form and the meter uh, is just kind of showing you the pulses and how they're in sync with each uh, LED flash. Um, basically what you can do with this is uh, hook it up to something that uses a DIP switch. This is a has a, the 12 on and offs 12 bit I guess you would say and what you can do with this is hook it up to those DIP sockets and you know it's actually just going through every code possible with a 12 bit DIP switch and you can see that you can turn up the, the rate um, a good application that I can think of for this is uh, old garage door openers they use DIP switches in order to uh, establish a kind of a code. Uh, the newer ones they use a roll through uh, code where there's like a trillion different codes but uh, if I can get my hands on an old remote I do have an old one but it's only a nine pin and it's actually a single pole triple throw which I'm not really wanting to mess around with but uh, any kind of a remote that has 12 uh, DIP switches that are just standard two throws on and off um, will work with this. It's a fairly simple circuit. You can find the schematic online pretty easily. Um, I'm just in need for a, uh, a remote. So if anyone watching this has one of those remotes that's either broken or they don't use or they know where to get one, because uh, they're like 30 bucks and I don't really feel like spending any money on this. But if anyone wants to send me one, I'll pay for shipping. Uh, I'll even send you uh, the, the integrated circuit that the binary counter so you can make it your own. I'll send you schematics that I made. Uh, I'm just kind of in a desperate attempt to come across one of these without having to spend 30 bucks. So if anyone wants to help me out, 